In the heart of a town veiled in fog and mystery, there stood an ancient library, a repository of knowledge forgotten by time. This tale unfolds with Eleanor, a young librarian whose love for books was only matched by her curiosity. Little did she know that her discovery of a hidden section within the library's dusty corridors would lead her into the abyss of the supernatural, a journey etched in the annals of horror as the library of lost souls. Eleanor's discovery came on a stormy night when a misplaced tome led her to a concealed doorway behind a crumbling bookshelf. With a heart pounding in anticipation and a lantern shaking in her hand, she stepped into a realm untouched by time. This hidden section was an eerie place where the air was thick with whispers and the shelves were laden with books that seemed to hum with a life of their own. Among these volumes, Eleanor found books that were unlike any she had seen before. They were bound in materials that felt alive, with pages that fluttered to open on their own. The titles were names of people, some long forgotten by the world outside. Intrigued, Eleanor opened one, and the words began to write themselves, narrating the life of a soul lost to time and tragedy. Each book was a gateway to the story of a lost soul, trapped within the pages, yearning for release. The stories were heart-wrenching tales of love, betrayal, ambition, and downfall. Eleanor realized that these were not mere stories. They were real lives, etched into eternity by some unknown magic. Driven by a mix of fear and compassion, Eleanor learned the purpose of these self-writing books. They were prisons for souls who had unfinished business in the mortal world, and reading their stories to the end would free them. However, she soon discovered a chilling caveat. With each soul released, the reader would pay a price. The cost was a piece of her own life essence, a fragment of her soul. Despite the danger, Eleanor's determination to free these trapped spirits grew. She spent her nights reading, and with each story concluded, she felt a part of herself slip away. Strange marks began to appear on her body, each a testament to a soul she had freed. Her eyes, once bright with the vigor of life, now mirrored the depth of the souls she had encountered, haunted and wise beyond her years. As Eleanor delved deeper into this macabre duty, she began to notice changes not just in herself, but in the library. Shadows moved with a life of their own, whispers filled the air, and the temperature dropped with the presence of the soul she had released. Some were grateful, passing on in peace, but others, twisted by their tales of sorrow and rage, refused to leave, turning the library into a nexus of paranormal activity. The climax of Eleanor's journey came when she found a book with her own name. It was then she realized that the library had chosen her as its keeper, not just of its stories, but of its souls. The book with her name remained blank, a foreboding sign that her story was yet to be written, her fate yet to be sealed. In a final act of defiance or perhaps acceptance, Eleanor decided to free the last of the souls, knowing it might cost her everything. With trembling hands, she opened the final book, and as the last soul was released, a blinding light engulfed her. The library shuddered as if releasing a long-held breath, and then silence. When the light faded, Eleanor was gone. The hidden section sealed itself away, with no trace of its keeper or the souls it once held. The library returned to its peaceful quiet, its supernatural occurrences ceasing as mysteriously as they had begun. Years turned into decades, and the tale of Eleanor and the Library of Lost Souls became a legend whispered among the townsfolk. The library stood timeless, guarding its secrets and its stories, waiting for the next keeper to stumble upon its hidden truths. Thus ends the tale of the Library of Lost Souls, a chilling reminder of the thin veil between the living and the dead, and the price of meddling with the unknown. Eleanor's legacy lives on, a testament to her bravery and her compassion, etched forever in the memories of those who dare to traverse the boundary of the living and the spectral in search of truth and redemption.